Hello world, what's happening? So to start this off, I was woken up at 4.30ish in the morning with horrendous stomach pain, which I was also woken up at 8.30 with as well, which is now still there and has moved into my back. I feel ya. I mean, I receive diarrhea sometimes whenever I eat certain types of food in a combination and boy, it gets really embarrassing that you end up waking up, you know, feeling up with this stomach pain and then sometimes end up shitting your own underwear. It really is embarrassing. But, uh, maybe we should just get to the point. As you may or may not know, I made a video not too long ago called Misogyny on YouTube in which I yell about people being dicks. And my favorite thing is when you post things like that, you just know that you're going to get people commenting on it who do not agree whatsoever, who just make themselves sound like fucking idiots. Well, that's the thing about being a public figure. You're going to receive trolls on the internet, whether or not you have at least 300 subs or at most have like a million fucking subs. There's always going to be people who are going to make themselves look like total fucking ass. That's why we call them trolls. As you may or may not know, I am a student. I do go to school and I technically don't, but plan on majoring in criminology. If you do not know what that is, it is like the study of crime. Well, at least it's not quote unquote gender studies like most feminists go to. But that also means that I spend a lot of time reading books and reading statistics about stuff crime related like sexual assault and things of that realm. Oh really? Ho 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 ho! Okay, this ought to be good. Meaning that when people who are anonymous on the internet post comments telling me I'm wrong about statistics and stuff on sexual assault, I literally just can't. I just, I, I white girl out. I literally just can't even. Okay, first of all, you're just a mere student. There, there are people out there that have studied this shit a lot longer than you have. Hell, there's this one woman who literally have been studying domestic violence for 30 fucking years, and this is what she has to say. I don't think the one in four women have experienced domestic violence at some point in their lives is a valid figure because apart from anything else it was actually taken from women in refuges there were no control groups it isn't a proper so in other words who are they going to listen to a mere student that has been studying criminology for how many years what one year at most or a woman that's been studying uh, domestic violence for nearly 40 fucking years. Go on. I dare you to tell me. Okay, I believe I found it, but it, from now that I'm reading it, their first comment doesn't sound like a first comment. It says like they're commenting on something that I said, but they aren't. But they commented saying, if it was a guy peeing on a girl when he was too drunk, would you be offended? If the answer is no, then why would this situation be any different just because the person happens to have a vagina? To which I said, no, I would still be offended because it's gross and disrespectful. But at the same time, when a male drinks to the point of passing out, it's usually because he actively made that decision to consume that much alcohol. Most of the time when a woman is blacking out, she didn't go out deciding to drink that much and was given those drinks. I guess is bias. I guess I'm being sexist towards men. But honey, don't you know that Feminists literally tell you that you cannot be sexist towards men because men hold all the fucking power? Yeah, that's that's literally what feminists have to say. So, you know, you can be as quote-unquote sexist as, as you want because apparently there's no such thing. You could be prejudiced towards men, but you can't be sexist. But I do not know many women in this world who like go out to a bar and are like I'm gonna get fucking sloshed tonight and spend hundreds of dollars on drinks 
for themselves. Well, just because you don't see it happen doesn't mean it doesn't happen. The girls that I know, including myself, who've gotten drunk to the point of where they are incoherent, have not paid for those drinks themselves and have been offered them by dudes. So I'm uh, continuing that comment. Said it's not cool regardless of the urination. It's way more dangerous for a woman to pass out at a party than for a dude to. Which, I mean, I think the average person would agree with. This girl was like, nah. -uh. They said, I've been in the position of being passed out, and then in brackets, thank god I wasn't pissed on, because thank god. And no, I didn't intend on passing out, but I did decide to get drunk, so it was my fault for passing out. But my guy friend who passed out also didn't intend on passing out? Just because a woman is handed drinks does not mean she has to consume them. In most cases, unless they saw them being poured, they shouldn't touch them at all. People can forget that men are assaulted when drunk almost as much as women who are, are assaulted when drunk. And it's not made to a huge deal at all. All I'm saying is whether a man or a woman does it doesn't make it any less serious or dangerous. If a woman wants equal rights, then we must accept we must accept that men should have the same rights as all of us, if you know what I mean. Which, this is when I start to get confused. Because, one, I never at any point said that girls who get way too drunk did this because they were handed random drinks at bars. But you just said that women that tend to drink do not plan to drink as much as men. And most of the time, they get drunk because they receive free alcohol. By dudes that they didn't see, like, if you take a drink at a bar and you didn't see it poured, then don't fucking do that. <laughs> but then she goes on to talk about equal rights. So this woman's a feminist, clearly, because she wants men and women to have equal rights. You are a fucking dumbass. She is not a fucking feminist just because she wants equal rights. She's closer to being egalitarian than to be a feminist. Stop trying to own the fucking concept of feminism. But she doesn't care about, like, you know, the wage gap or, like, sexual health or anything like that that women suffer from. Clearly, what we need to deal with in this country is that men are not treated the same as women when it comes to sexual assault because men have it equally as bad as women. It wasn't uh, a gender issue. And I knew that from personal experience, because although both my parents were violent, dis dysfunctional, my mother was physically a lot more violent to me than my father. So I came to the whole subject with an open mind. And as I took the women in, I looked at the first hundred women that had came in with their children. And of the first hundred, 62 could be described as violent as the partners that they left. You see, unlike you, I can actually provide facts backing up what I claim. You, on the other hand, you're just making assertion after assertion after assertion after assertion. And we're just supposed to believe you. And also, I have to point this out time and time again, that the wage gap has been fucking debunked. And so has been the one in five statistic has been debunked. I mean, holy shit, how many feminists are going to listen to this shit? Men are definitely getting sexually assaulted just as much as women, and it's equally as dangerous and serious that a man is being sexually assaulted as a woman. One, if you say that men are assaulted as much as women, you are wrong. I guess we're supposed to believe you because apparently you've been studying this for how long? What, a year at most? Dude is more likely to be assaulted by a dude than by a woman. That's just facts. The next thing is, okay, let's, Let's entertain this, this ideal that men are assaulted just as much as women. What do you think is more dangerous, my friends? A six foot tall, 200 pound man being attacked by a five foot two, 120 pound woman, or the other way around? Well, it all depends on the situation. I mean, what if the woman knows Kung Fu or knows how to defend herself? Or is holding a weapon, like a knife, or a taser gun. 
Yeah, riddle me this. Who's more dangerous? A woman with a fucking gun or a man with his bare fists? I you tell me. I don't know what else I can say on the topic besides leaving it at that. The reason that men do not deal with this as much as women is because it's way easier for if a girl jumps on a man for a dude to be like, hey, don't do that, and physically lift him off her body and put her down on the ground. You act like all men are this stereotypical Superman that can lift a woman over his head without any problems. And you assume that all women are as light as a feather. What if a 300 pounder woman comes after me? And she jumps on top of me. She's going to break every fucking bone in my body just with her weight alone. And be like, can you politely shut the fuck up? If a guy decides to attack me, I'm pretty much fucked because I have literally no upper body strength. But that doesn't mean that you can't grab a weapon and stab someone in the fucking eye. And he is twice my size. Okay. There's only two possible ways that could happen. Either A, you're a fucking midget, or B, everyone in the fucking world is as tall as the Great Kali. If you get past the initial assault, regardless of the statistics, it is a bajillion times more dangerous for a woman than a man. A bajillion times worse. And we're supposed to believe you a bajillion times more than anyone else huh because a woman cannot fight back and cannot do anything about it so in other words women cannot defend themselves because apparently you study this shit where do i begin where the fuck do i even begin on how wrong you truly are that is End of scene, my friends. That, that's, that's where I'm gonna leave it. Uh oh, thank goodness, because I can't handle another second of this stupidity. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.